Hi friends and welcome to my new Amazing Cultivation Simulator series. I'm Icon and I've already announced this in my first sec series a lot. This is my new project I've been planning around and let's get going, shall we? Still kept this a, bit, a, a little bit as a surprise in the last days, but uh, it's gonna be my first Immortal run. Yeah, I checked this out in, in detail and, you know, there's a lot of extra difficulties you can burden up on yourself. But what I already noticed is <laughs> when you turn on this check mark here, everything here gets maxed out. I think I'm in, in a lot of trouble already because Immortal Mode disables save and load too, so it's the Iron Man mode of the game. And, you know, I love commitment modes in games in general. I, I do. So. I was very, very eager to play like this from the beginning when I saw this game, but when I saw what the game was all including and all about, I was like, nah, let's let's learn it first. So also I decided that I want to live in a wetland and in an otherworld rift. The otherworld rift. Space here has been shattered due to a battle between powerful sages, leaving an otherworld rift allowing items or cultivators from other planes passing it from time to time. This will make sense in a second, don't you worry. So I won't be changing anything apart from that, I just want a different tile set today. And uh, I felt like that would be fun to play around a epic water um, body instead of just the planes. The planes were very plain and they were okay for me as a beginner, but now I want some geographic features to play around. And to make things a little bit more appealing and interesting, I'm going to run a large map. So, but that's not all what the series is about. Um, that would be a little bit uh, small for a surprise. I also decided to dive right into the new content added into in, to the game with the last patch. Yeah, I think it was the last patch. So the developers included a few new cultivators which you can access from the reincarnator and uh, I'm gonna play one person which is the main character of a web novel and I want to draw your attention to the link in the description below the website webnovel.com features a ton of awesome fantasy novels for free basically really there's no pressure behind that you can just uh, dive in and uh, read that stuff as much as you want to it's awesome, really. You don't, you don't even need to register. Just want to leave that link to all those interested people. So, Noah Balvin is the main character of a series which has, uh, when I looked it up, well, like uh, 1,200 chapters already. <laughs> it's quite a productive scene, I like that. So, Noah Balvin comes with uh, a prefabricated trait of leadership and some really awesome stats. My idea was, if... I have to brave this content on the highest difficulty. I want to have some kick-ass the cultivator where I can be sure that the stats are okay. Because, you know, rolling... as um, I don't like to roll until it fits and it was really a smooth decision after all. But what I want to do is I want to randomize the sect in the means... Well, okay, no Yao guy. Sorry guys, I'm racist. Not really. I'm just. I just don't want to have a sect full of Yao guy, um, with heavenly tribulations hitting harder than ever in uh, immortal mode. I, I want a bunch of humans, uh, but I wanted to go like. I, I'm not even gonna look at their stats because true randomness is something I really love to work with the resources the game flings at you, even if they are bad. Just my problem then. Optima over optimizing can kill a lot of fun, and this guy is already pretty optimized. So let's get right start uh, started right now. So I was really really looking forward for the, to this and uh, very happy to uh, start out with that. So that was really really fun to prepare this. So we're um, starting with a true sun refining law, but as we know. That's not necessarily where our uh, story will end. I'm not even sure if I want to uh, train him first with that. Maybe I'm gonna select some other guy um, first for the 
for that law and select some better fitting uh, for Noah. So, this series will be played a lot differently than the first sect stuff, because uh, here with the heightened uh, difficulty level I really want to min-max a lot more, utilize what I have learned in the past, and this also means this series will have no daily releases, I'm not able to keep up with the speed if I have um, to prepare what I want to do and think about that. I don't have the time every day to uh, prepare um, harder content like that or otherwise I would lose the fun and uh, where's the fun if I lose the fun? So <laughs> let's get right started friends. So this looks really nasty, doesn't it? We're, uh, we're getting our feet wet right when we start and there's a bunch of frogs here so... So, for several days you hid during the day and traveled at night, finally arriving, and uh, there's our mysterious cultivator friend, right, right. Okay. So, we're right back um, at the beginning when the Tagi sect got annihilated. I'm, I'm taking it slow right now and I uh, want to check out where we're starting. Don't want to uh, lose time. In my other series I had a lot of fast forwarding, but uh, here I think I want to be a little bit more careful. So uh, this is really... ain't much land here. So let's... Uh, wow, Noah's uh, vision range is something else. Wow. Okay. I did expect a little bit more, <laughs> but I guess uh, we're... The center of the map seems to be uh, solid water, okay. But that's what I was looking forward to, you know. Some... Some piece of land with character. That's looking good. At least good enough to uh, settle down for the first few days. I don't need to find the perfect patch of land, but I need to find a patch of land where where I can build a little bit more than just my campfire, because that's a little bit small for five people. This looking better. May, might be still a little bit too small, but uh, let's light up the bonfire and uh, settle down. Oh, I'm so happy about all this uh, new stuff because, uh, you know, I had this itch in my fingers for uh, quite a few days now to finally get started, but, uh, well, sadly, here in our, in our land we had uh, another big lockdown and then I had to, or I wanted to spend more time with my family before I would, was able to get back to work again because it's just a little bit of a strain but I want to talk not much about that just wanted to explain why I was so impatient so we unlocked our real structures now okay and this is a cute little island we have a lot of good stuff here and what I also wanted to say, um, there's uh, five other um, cultivators which you can reincarnate with that new update. Also, we got some fancy new toys, some uh, spirit contracts. I hope I'll run into these during this series too. Don't know when though. So there's a bunch of resources lying around here. That's a good start. So what can I do now? I got the basics down. So. The most important thing to get started with is the fountain or the well, because otherwise we will we will die due to thirst. So a timber station to process that wood here. We also need a few training spots. Well, there's a uh, no particular appealing spot here right now. I really want to keep it as basic as possible because I don't know if I want to resettle. Okay, I don't need to go too basic here, but uh, you know, if there would be any spirit wood in the area, I've heard that uh, cultivating near spirit wood is uh, supposed to be good. I think it's because of the 
chi there, which you can't absorb or something like that. I don't have no clue actually why exactly some tips are working, how they are working. It's something I am working on. Okay, so the work schedule now. Um, for now, I'll just uh, go with a brute force system because we're a lot of people and we'll just get a lot of stuff done if I just enable ever everybody for everything. This is uh, quite amateurish and I'll optimize that later down the road. But for the raw beginnings, it doesn't matter too much. It's just important that we get stuff done. And I don't want to have my five people here right now too picky. You know. Alright. So after that's all been dealt with, um, Noah is still hanging around here. I think I want to draw down a barracks now as the first thing I do. Uh, I can't do roofs or something like that, but that's no problem. I don't want to waste this spot here. This is fertile soil. This is valuable. We're we're gonna use that as farming spot as a farming plot. But I think I'll destroy a little tiny bit of that with uh, just this structure here. It's gonna be a little bit cramped, but they they're gonna live through that. So it's just we need a bunch of beds here. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, that's just uh, very narrow. But it's better than nothing. Later, I'm going to use this little room for something else when we have chopped away that uh, mountain here. I plan on using this area here later, but not yet. All right, so Noah, you're supposed to move. Move, 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 move. We need to explore that. I'm pretty sure he has the best perception stats of my bunch. In a few minutes, I'm also gonna uh, check out how these guys are statted out. And uh, yeah, about the release schedule, I do plan something around three to four episodes per week, if you were asking yourself where, what I was planning like that. But no promises here. I just want to, uh, I want to beat this game mode, you know? That's that's my my main and most interest, and uh, if I have to play it slower, then I'm gonna play it slower. You know. Oh, look at that! This is looking gorgeous. High chances here that we're gonna settle in here for a longer time, but for now, oh, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it like that. Just noticed that I put the well, uh, the fountain. Well, it's called well in this game. Very close to the wooden wall. This is actually good, you know. Water begets wood, so this should be... They should be happy with that. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of supplies here. We want to... Uh, we are going to claim those too soon. So, let's check out. Who's my best builder here of the bunch? That's Rujin. So, let's put this guy up. For that job. I mean, I gotta say, I, uh, I've i taken away something from me when I decided to not feature Yaogai cultivators, because Yaogai cultivators have insanely good base stats uh, that makes up for their problem with the coming tribulations, but uh, it's really something I gave up on. There's some... Uh, don't want to have the storage around my training spot. No, let's uh, put the storage for now here. As soon as I have to um, tools developed, I want to create a big farming spot here. So the boxes will be looted as soon as the work here has been done. And I think I can now dare to speed up this uh, whole process a little bit. Okay then. Next few steps will be checking out who's the best uh, person for the fire cultivation law here, and then we're gonna we're gonna check out how things are working out. I think we're gonna be able to be build a beautiful lotus farm area here. I'm gonna try and make that uh, stick. So we're totally out of timber. 
Looks like I need a crafting spot to alleviate that. I, uh, I assumed that might happen, but uh, I still hope they were smarter than that. So, material workspace and uh, this one. <clears throat> oh, I think I did a mistake there. I should have crafted... Uh, oh no, we have a timber axe available. Okay, at least something. So, who's my... Okay, logging... Mm, well, whatever, I'm gonna gonna assign that to Balvin, uh, to Noah for a moment. So, uh, did I pronounce in my first series the Chinese names the whole, the, wrongly the whole time? I guess yes. What a shame. <laughs> so here this guy's uh, last name is the it's named first. I, I know that from Japanese. They do that too. No, Pontian. Okay, we're, we have to, we have to stop this madness before somebody gets hurt. This is not your job. <clears throat> um, Yo, Noah. I, I thought. Who has the axe now? Ah, here. I thought this would work out without my manual. Atten uh, attention, but uh... okay, you professionals. Well, I had to explore a lot before we settled down, so it's not too unusual to end up sleeping on the ground on the first day. But they'll they'll survive. Okay, cultivation in the morning, cultivation all day. Someday. Not yet, though. For now, they're all meager um, mortals. I took the time to read at least the first chapter of the um, series this guy came from, and it uh, was already quite fun, gotta say. Sadly, I didn't find the time I wanted to find to, uh, to read and stuff. Too busy for that lately. But I'm looking forward to the spring when more, there's more time for that. So I think. What are you doing? You're training. Yeah, well, okay. Here we go. So let's uh, see. The material workplace. It's also used to uh, chop down stones. I'm gonna keep that for now. Only a logger will work here, so. Well, for now, I'm gonna loop that endlessly for now, for now. I don't want to uh, have that permanently like that, but to begin with, it's not that bad. Oh, it's a shame to chop down such a huge tree, you know. Hmm. I want to keep it for now. See if I can build my stuff around that. People love ancient trees, you know. They're beautiful too. So let's remove those tree stumps. And I think, yeah, well... This horribly primitive place is slowly coming together. The next thing I need is the hand is the handcraft station because I need more tools. But well, oh wait a sec, that's uh. Hmm, I think that was okay though. Just uh, yeah, yeah, they didn't block each other. Uh... Since these items are all movable, that's okay. All right. Not sure if this is enough wood already, but uh, there's a lot of wood down here. But I want to craft bows as quick as possible to get rid of those uh, animals. Although I still got the mysterious cultivator friend here, so. Swickety-swoody. 
artifacts look, look so impressive before you got uh, access to them yourself. Wow, a broken bone recovers in less than two minutes. These guys are quite impressive. So let's hunt this thing. Come on, Wu. Uh, or is his name Long? First time killer, one creature killed. Oh, these are new. Neat. I think they uh, are associated to the immortal mode because the immortal mode en en uh, enables all manner of achievements which uh, are happening when you enable all those extra difficulties I barely showed during the beginning. I wonder where the spatial rift is at. <laughs> Just noticed that I enabled that and uh, one room's Feng sh uh, Shui becomes auspicious. Why? I don't know. I didn't uh, did it on purp. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> okay, so there's. Uh, oh no, I don't need to. Uh, or do I? Well, let's do some dried meat. I'm not sure if I really need that. Yeah, Mr. Cultivator is uh, blocking a bed. I didn't uh, count that in. Oops. Build Mr. Cultivator his own room as soon as possible. All right, so that's a good start. We're gonna be safe for quite some time. I'm well aware of that. Amber fruit. Um, so let's chop down these. Lost my thought here for a moment. Got distracted by the unchecked um, trees here. We need a lot of wood to begin with. Okay, so we unlocked advanced furniture and advanced workstations. So, ah, uh, here we go. The good stuff has been unlocked. All right. Let's give these poor guys at least some tic-tac-toe game. Hmm, some bird cage. I didn't go for those in my first playthrough a lot. Okay, I'm gonna... I also want to beauty up this place a lot compared to my first run. My first run was very, very, um, well... <laughs> a brute force attempt on this game. <laughs> I can't put it into different words, but it worked quite well, I gotta say. I kind of like know what I'm doing now. Spoiled meals, yum. I definitely should uh, do something about that. Indigo fabric, kind of useful. So I guess it's foolish to let uh, people cook who are really bad at that. So let's uncheck that. And we found a gold wood blade and 30 wood. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, I was hoping for that. All right. So now, first things first. We need five bows. And then I'm going to craft the tools. I want to go for bows because they are the safest approach for outer disciples to fight. Because, uh, you know... Outer Disciples are quite squishy and vulnerable. They don't have much chi. Do they even have chi? I don't think they have access to chi yet, so. Mere mortals, they go like poof. So, it's better to um, give them something which makes sure that they don't even uh, get touched here. So, who's working at a handcraft station? A crafter. So, I'll rather optimize my workflow like that but oh god, no, it's only Noah who's good at that. So uh, I, I have to assign Cheng to that. So, or is his name Yulu? Please, uh, please help me to make me le look less like a fool there. So drop me a comment down below. What's the, really the first name with these people? You know, for me as a foreigner, as a complete foreigner, I have absolutely no clue how to tell which one's the first name here. So. I can't. I need help. 
I do like it not to look like a savage, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's... Uh, oh, yeah, sure. The hauling police is at this item already. On this item, whatever. Let's see. Um, here. First things first. Make sure that everybody got a weapon to fight with, and then we will. You're training, right? Okay. I can't tell if he's training or punching the tree. Just want to make sure nothing foolish is uh, happening here. So this uh, spot can be. Uh, oops. Can be demolished here. Don't need that anymore. The material workplace. Until I have the stone cutter, um, I want to keep it for now because I'm not sure how many spots I'll need to um, craft with stone before I got the stone cutter um, online. So another bow has been produced. Just want to make sure that we don't look like uh, fools when we have to hunt something. Okay, let's uh, speed up and hope that this guy one day will become better at crafting. But uh, if I... If I'm not... Oh, where is it at? Yeah, that's already a way higher number than before. Nice. So, learning by doing is a thing. I want to have way more specialization in this run compared to what I did in the first run. In the first run, I just let everybody do whatever they want to do, and uh, we were not really a, a uh, organized sect at all. So, Noah, don't you need sleep? The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the forming pill is being used as soon as possible so let's check it out um where can i check out my laws why are you in a bad mood friend dark filthy environment sleeping out in the wilderness so um why are you not sleeping then <laughs> you know you're low on energy. What are you doing, Val? Oh, no. Well. Let's see. Yeah, he slacked and work. Great. He has even a assigned bed. Maybe he wasn't able to sleep because of the bad um, living situation. I gotta work on that, I guess. That's not good. Already the first few problems arise. But you know, uh, weapons are quite important, I think. Quite, quite important. So, let's just create a new room to alleviate that problem. I mean, I just noticed that I have a lot more space than I originally thought. So, just don't want to uh, to to waste this uh, very valuable area, you know. Also, I should consider if I don't want to um, think about different materials than wood. Also, I'm able to produce offcuts now. I think that will help a lot too, to uh, create roofs and floors. Stuff will look less filthy then, you know. Okay, so why is uh, certain somebody logging? <laughs> Don't know. Don't care. <laughs> Okay, then we got to build up some roofs as soon as possible. Yeah, we can. Now we can. 
build roofs, build floors, be civilized. Just want to make sure that the boss. Ooh, these look neat. Um, I want to do those. Um, I want to make sure that the boss receives some uh, proper room for himself. He's going crazy, you know. Let's do a uh, double bed there. The room is still pretty small, but... <clears throat> I don't want to do two large rooms before um, I'm able to explore around here safely, you know. It's just quite important to me. So small rooms, then next step is uh, chopping away this mountain and then we're gonna <clears throat> create the workshop in there. <sighs> Seriously. So let's check out this fella here. How long until you're... <laughs> no. Sorry, I don't even have agencies to send this guy to. Yao guy. Such a sad, sad Yao guy story. But no. It's really too, uh, too heavy for me. And for now, I'm more or less suffering from the problem that there's so many people here that we have to create so much room while I'm living on such a, uh, on a peninsula, which is, uh, well, you know, I could just plaster down a building here and be like, ah, I'll do farming later, but no. I want to start farming as soon as possible because it's very, very important, I think, to do that as soon as possible because food will be important. So, yeah. I think we're gonna we're gonna leave our immortal web novelists here or our immortal web novelist so um, yeah due to room needed we're working on that friends we're working on that I think the smartest thing to do will be to make sure that this barracks situation is uh, over as soon as possible but uh, yeah thank you so much for watching friends as I said we're gonna continue this series step by step. Expect not too much of a pause between episode one and two though, don't worry. I want to kickstart the series for sure. Alrighty, so leave comments down below if you have helpful tips, ideas, or whatever I can, I know I can rely on you guys. And uh, yeah, next episode we're gonna consolidate the uh, living area here more and more. I see a lotus farm here, possibly. This is a neat little lotus farm to begin with. I don't know. So, whatever. I could use your thumbs up or even a subscription if you haven't done so already. It would be wildly and deeply appreciated, for sure. Also, in the description down below, you find a link to my Discord server. If you want to chat and hang, you're more than welcome. Also, you're able to um, keep up with my YouTube releases because I have a well-groomed YouTube release schedule there. So, see you then, friends, and thanks so much for your time. You're awesome. Bye-bye.